It is a beautiful spring day, spring afternoon. And we're here in the vineyard of the, our oldest Cabernet Sauvignon, which is approximately 21 years old. And we're here at the moment when ideally we would come through here, which we will in the next couple days with a group of workers, to take off the shoots, which we don't need. And those are called suckers because they remove energy from the shoots that do remain on the vine. We're going to leave the shoots on the vine that are going to produce fruit. They're going to produce lots of leaves and shade and eventually fruit. We're going to eliminate those that don't produce fruit, that just take energy from the vine. And if you can see here, here's a bud that is just getting starting to grow and it's going to produce a shoot that's not necessary. So I remove it. It's so simple with my fingers. But here are shoots. You can't see the clusters yet, but they come from last year's growth, which is called a spur. And this shoot and that shoot are going to develop into long shoots with fruit on them. Chances are this one will also, I know by its position, but this one is not necessary. And this one behind is not necessary. So you see, I've just on this one area here, I've eliminated half the shoots, maybe even more than half the shoots. And it's really simple at this time of year. I'm just using my fingers. I could wear a glove or not wear a glove, and I just rub them off. It's so simple. You see how fast I can proceed here? I'm basically looking at the meaningful, the important spur with its shoots, leaving those alone, but I'm taking everything else off. I don't need those. If I do it now, I can do this vine in a matter of seconds, or let's say a minute, I can do the whole vine. If I wait a month from now and, and remove these shoots, it'll take me three minutes to do this, or longer. It'll be much more, much more time consuming. If I wait longer than that, I'll have to come in here with the pruning shears to do it. That even takes longer. So doing it now is this classic, a stitch in time saves nine. Now I save this position right over here, even though it's not growing from a spur, which will have eventually fruit, I would like to develop this area again for a new spur for the following year. So I've left this here intentionally. So this shoot, I'll be able to trim it as a two bud spur, similar to this one. And in the future, it'll produce fruit. How's that for a good idea, right? But again, I'm gonna continue on my way, taking off all this excess stuff, all these things here, they're not needed. And I'm doing it, I'm thinking ahead as I go. Okay, how does he make those decisions so fast? Because I know the shoots that come from here are the important ones. They're the ones that have fruit, not these other ones, they're not needed. Sometimes I leave an extra one like I just suggested because then I can either develop a new position or I can cut this back where my, pretend this is my pruning shears and I can develop this for the spur for next year. Okay, make sense, capiche? Thanks for being here. It is a literally a beautiful, Spring day, I think it's April 14th or 15th, I forgot. I've lost touch because of the coronavirus. But you can see the olive trees are in bloom, the vineyard, the winery's there, dormant, and, but the roses are blooming now. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous time to be alive and to be here. And I thank you all for being with me. Come back again. See you next time.